After surviving two life-threatening brain aneurysms, Amelia Clark is amazed at how normally she's still able to live her life and credits her role on Game of Thrones with giving her a sense of direction during those difficult times. The actress addressed her recent health setbacks in an interview with the BBC's Sunday Morning while promoting her West End debut in a production of Anton Chekhov's The Seagull at the Harold Pinter Theatre. Speaking of the aneurysms, she said, it was the most excruciating pain. It was incredibly helpful to have Game of Thrones sweep me up and give me that purpose. Clark suffered in first aneurysm in 2011 between seasons of the HBO show and the second in 2013, both of which required lengthy recovery periods in order to address the brain damage. She continued, the amount of my brain that is no longer usable, it's remarkable that I am able to speak, sometimes articulately, and live my life completely normally with absolutely no repercussions. I am in the really, really, really small minority of people that can survive that. Clark went on to recall looking at the scans of her brain after both medical incidents, explaining, there's quite a bit missing. Which always makes me laugh, strokes, basically, as soon as any part of your brain doesn't get blood for a second, it's gone. So the blood finds a different route to get around, but then whatever bit is missing is therefore gone. Since this harrowing experience, Clark has founded a charity for brain injury and stroke victims called SAMU. But she noted that after her aneurysms and rehabilitation process, she's also learned how to accept herself just as she currently is. She explained, I thought, well, this is who you are. This is the brain that you have. So there's no point in continually racking your brains about what might not be there. Clark first opened up about her health scare in a personal essay for The New Yorker in 2019, titled The Battle for My Life, in which she explained that she collapsed between us. My full name is Amelia Isabel Euphemia Rose Clark, she wrote. But now I couldn't remember it. Instead, nonsense words tumbled out of my mouth and I went into a blind panic. I'd never experienced fear like that, a sense of doom closing in. I could see my life ahead, and it wasn't worth living. I am an actor, I need to remember my lines. Now I couldn't recall my name. In my worst moments, I wanted to pull the plug, 